I'm Stuart Moore. Welcome to episode four of our weekly podcast. I'm at Parkour right now. There's an academy game going on in the background, but the main content from this week's podcast comes from north of the English border as we travelled to Scotland for our pre-Champions League camp. First of all, we played Rangers and immediately afterwards at the training ground, I interviewed Scott Rusco. How happy were you today with the performance? Yeah, extremely happy. Um, we've asked the lads to go shift in, get as many minutes as they can. Uh, play against a very, very good um, Premiership Scottish side you know, in Rangers. What a fantastic um, place to come and play. And, and even though it's a friendly, you know, the, the facilities are first class. And you, know, you, you haven't really got to do too much team talk wise when you come to places like this because it's where everyone wants to play. Um, so told them it was going to be a very, very strong Rangers team, which it was in the end. You know, some, some great players playing, playing there, but I think at times we match them and we give them a good game and hopefully we have um, give them a good warm-up for Europe as well because they play obviously next Thursday, so uh, I think it works works well for both sides. Nil-nil at the break and then a Steve Saunders own goal, just one minute into the second period, but TNS recovered well. Yeah, if, if you look at the goal, they've scored against us. They've had a lot better chances than that and it's a scruffy goal from Steve, uh, it's an own goal and it's 35, 40 seconds into the second half which is obviously one of the worst times you can, you can let a goal in. But we came back well, we kept doing things that we do well, we worked hard and passed the ball. Uh, our defensive shape was first class, our closing down, the commitment and our fitness were, you know, were a credit to the lads. We've done exceptionally well today with, with a good squad of players getting a lot of minutes. Not many played 90 minutes, so we've, we've given chances again to, to younger squad members as well to get them experience at playing at these sort of facilities and, and experience in these games. A day later, we played St Johnston at St Andrews, and I caught up with assistant manager Steve Evans. A disappointing result, of course, today, but what about the performance? Yeah, the result um, isn't always great to lose, but performance and um, we're pleased with the performance especially as um, we had an unsettled team um, we had two games in two days which meant we couldn't use all the players in both games but the performance w was good from the lads. Yeah and regarding the team there were 17 players featured today including three trialists that's obviously not the same as a, a proper game if I could use the inverted commas around that. No, but the players that played, you know, worked hard, worked well together. Um, the three goals, uh, not great from our point of view. Um, really scrappy goals, um, but we created chances ourselves, and possibly should have um, scored one or two to ourselves. But the pleasing thing was a performance from the team. Um, apart from the goals, there was nothing in the game. And of course, it's the big one next, the Champions League, Europa FC at home. What sort of challenge are you expecting from them? Yeah, it's going to be tough. Um, it's going to be tough. You know, it always is in Europe. Um, but the two games we've had this week have given us great preparation for next week. Um, we'll go away. We've got a couple of days of light training now, um, a day or two off, and two or three days of preparation for the game. So. Um, we know what we've got to do, we know what we're going to do, um, it's now getting that message across to the lads and um, going on Tuesday and getting the right results. We've made a couple of new signings recently and making his second interview appearance in as many weeks, Ben Clark. You recently signed a contract at TNS but let's go back in time a little. You were a crew before you came to Parkour. Yeah, I was at Crew for five, five, six years. Just didn't, didn't really turn out what I wanted to be. Like, it was all right. It was all right. And then after that, just came to TNS. Been here about 18 months now. So, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good that you're, you're developing. So, yeah. And you've been at TNS for about 18 months, as you say. But the last couple of weeks have accelerated. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. The last couple of weeks, I've had quite a lot of opportunities to to improve, play with better players and be, be involved in first team squads so it's, it's good to be part of the squad. 
Well, it's only been a couple of weeks, of course, we were interviewing you after the Anglesey game. Well, here we are now in Scotland, Rangers and St Johnston. What an incredible journey you're on, Ben. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It took a while to get up here, but it's been worth it, definitely. Getting minutes on both games, so results, it doesn't really matter as long as you're improving, but it was good over the two days so far. It's been a good trip. And of course, also part of the journey is the fact that you left school on the Friday and you signed professional contracts yeah. on the Saturday. Yeah, I was doing my last GCSE, GCSE exam on a Friday morning. On the Saturday morning, getting told I was getting a contract and then travelling up here on the Sunday. So what else can you ask for, really? It's, it's, been, it's gone dead fast since I started training, but it's good. It's good to be part of the squad. Well, Ben, we wish you the very best, of course. Have you come down from that cloud? Yeah, definitely. You have? Definitely. That's good. Feet on the ground, yeah, yeah. level-headed. You've got good coaches around you, good players, of course, and a good family that supports you as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely family is a big thing, knowing they're, they're behind you. And they actually want you to do well, rather than being an accountant or something like that, like being a pro footballer. So it's good. Well, as we say, Ben, all the very best here at the New Saints. While we were up in Scotland, I also caught up with the second of our new signings, Tom Holland. Welcome to TNS, but of course we're not at Park Hall at this moment in time, and we'll come on to that in due course. Let's look at your career though. You started as a youngster in your native Yorkshire at Bradford City. Yeah, I started at Bradford when I was young. Um, left there about 11 to go to Leeds. Um, uh, left Leeds when I was about 14, got released actually. And then when I got released, uh, obviously you go and travel a few places and ended up signing at Man City. Uh, did the scholar there till I was 18 and then once again did get offered a professional contract. Then went to um, Swansea, did a two year pro. Um, played, a lot, played quite a lot of games there in the 23s and uh, went on road runs to Eastleigh in the conference and uh, filed in the conference and off. And then, yeah, this, uh, this is where I am now, TNS, after two years at Swansea. What's it like, Tom, as a youngster, being told by a club that your services are no longer required? It must be difficult to handle. Yeah, it's difficult, but um, you know, I've had it since I was young, so for various reasons, you know, so um, it's just a football, just a game of opinions, you know what I mean? So it, it doesn't phase me or anything. Um, I, you know, I still believe in myself, and um, I'm here at TNS now, and uh, to prove to everyone what I can do. Of course, as you say, here at the New Saints, it's not all about rejections, is it? It's also about signing contracts, and that's yeah. what you did just a few days ago. How did you feel when you knew that the New Saints were interested in you? No, yeah, I come, um, must have come here, I think it was about the 11th of June, come here, trained for a few days, and um, played a game, played against the uh, Field Rangers, and um, trained again on the Wednesday, then spoke to uh, Scotty, the uh, gaffer after, and, um, they just said they wanted to, want to, um, want to get something done, so, so I was obviously happy with that. And um, there were a few other things in that, but I looked at it and thought that uh, TNS would be the right, right place to sign. And you were at Swansea City before in Wales, but of course playing in the English system. How much do you know about the Welsh Premier League in general and the New Saints? Yeah, I don't know too much about them, but I know a lot about TNS. Um, I spoke to various people about them, and I remember at Swansea we had a um, friendly game against someone so but you know everything that everyone says is good things, the way they play, that was a big attraction. They like to play for good football, um, obviously a full time team, uh, good coaches, you know, you're not just coming here to train, you're coming here to, to improve and get better. Um, but no I, I know a lot I know a lot about them and uh, I've got a few uh, one or two friends who play in the Welsh League as well. I've got a lad you know a lad who plays for Bangor and that so um, you know, they they said what it was like. Oh, yeah, happy to be there. Um, what sort of game can the fans expect from you, Tom? Uh, I'm quite a busy midfielder, mostly defensive, but can play in attacking areas. I like to get on the ball, I like to make things happen and um, link, link the game from the back. Um, I'm quite aggressive too, but I you know, love to rat and get around and put pressure on people. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'd expect really. I won't expect too many goals, but that assist and goals is something that I, I'm looking to improve in my game too. And as we said at the beginning, we're not here at Park Hall, of course. We are north of the English border, St Andrews, on a pre-Champions League camp. 
and we've played Rangers and St Johnston. You featured in both. How did you feel after coming through those games? No, it was good. Like I said, these guys have had a bit longer than me pre season. I've, I've only had about a week or so. Um, yeah. I've played 45 minutes against Pitfield Rangers, so playing 9 minutes today against St Johnston. It's a different, it's a different kettle of fish, but um, no, I feel good in that. Um, two good games and take positives from both games, but obviously there's a lot to work on too. So. Um, no, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling good in that. Just uh, hope to get a bit fitter and. Um, and um, Champions League on the horizon. That must be quite a, an exciting prospect as well for the young player. Yeah, that's a big thing as well when I, when I came here. Wow. Like, when they said we've got Champions League games, you know, it's um, it does draw you to the club. Um, I think it's in Gibraltar we've got on there on um, we've got home first Tuesday. But to, to go away and to go to different places, you know, um, like I say, it'd be difficult, it'd be difficult to qualify. But um, you know, I've heard about how the teams have done in previous seasons and drawing with Napa um, and Casilla, yeah, drawing at home to them and that. So, yeah, we'll just see how, see how it goes. And that, um, you know, I'm not here to, <coughs> to be a small part player. I want to play a big part. You know, it, it'd be hard to get into the team and that. There's a lot of good players, but um, I, hope to, I hope to get a lot of games this year and um, show, the, show the manager and the uh, fans what I can do. Next week's episode 5 will be a Champions League special as we entertain Europa FC from Gibraltar here at Parkour. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course don't forget to check out our website for all things Parkour related, tnsfc.co.uk.